Somebody asked me today, how did this channel even happen? This channel happened, one, I started just taking things I thought were cool, putting them on playlists. You know, easy enough. Didn't really think I had that much to really offer as far as insights to things. Um, I wanted to find out who these people, the libertarians, were. Um, I found the anarcho-capitalists. This would have all been about 2011 through 2013. And uh, at a certain point, it was the uh, MRAs and the alt-right that I started finding through about 2013. And uh, so I started adding into it because there were things that I had happened upon that I was just like, wait a second, these guys don't know about this or they don't know about that. That's so odd. How is it that they know about all these? And I'm like, nobody can know everything. You know, not even a large community can really put together every factor of knowledge they need. You always need some some idea from the outside to give you, you know, either you, something that you might even reject, but at least you heard that point of view. Well, so some of what uh, I found was just very hard to deal with. It, it challenged everything that I had been taught about the structure of the world post-World War II. Um, the first thing that really broke, sort of broke my programming was the interview with John Loftus about his days as a Nazi hunter. Um, and the people he found who were being hidden by our, our intelligence services and that this was much larger and that the thing that he started to bring up was that there is a thing that is, is Islamic and it is fascist and that these people exist. This isn't conjecture. There's a reason why the left are being given sort of this idea of the United Nations and the EU are good. Um, Islam is victimized and um, and 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 uh, capitalists who believe in sort of local power, subsidiarity, um, you know, uh, true nationalism, uh, such people are endeavoring in something horrible and dangerous. And it's because what what this was always was that. What, what, or what I ended up finding out, and especially now some things I've been reading about, about the construction of the EU and the actual lawmakers who constructed it, um, a lot of my romance with how, hey, hey, a lot of my romance with the world that I, as I thought it was, has uh, vanished. So industrialists like things like the United Nations and the EU. It's, it has nothing to do with good people of many nations coming together to agree and to talk. It is entirely just a front for um, industrialists, industrialists who never hung uh, at Nuremberg. Communism isn't dissimilar. Um, it's just more poorly, cha it's just more poorly arranged. Um, Nazism and fascism is the Western European version of central planning, and it's just given a name and a style, but it always, all central planning, no matter if it's communism, no matter if it's fascism or national socialism, it is all just a way of making a, a, a new scientific empire of the new man. Um, and all of this comes out of a a love of sort of occultist thinking by frustrated artists um, in the late 1800s and early 1900s constructing such ideas um, that were really based around um, mostly in, in political and economic ways uh, you, you get the people who are socialists in the area of big ideas and writers and artists you get people who are fundamentally fans of the concept of tikkun olam, or the repairing of the world, um, and which is a sort of a mystical Jewish concept that is not exactly dogma or doctrine, 
um, really comes out of the traditions um, of the diaspora and the embracing of Kabbalism and the, the, the view of creation from a Kabbalistic point of view. Um, oh, hey, Pete, what's going on? I love it. This cat is so strange. Yeah, because the door is barely cracked open. He is so curious. He could see me. It's just because it's cracked. He's just like horribly curious. As soon as I open the door, he'll just walk off with total disinterest. <laughs> he can almost know what's going on. It's so fascinating. Um, so I started to just explore more and more a lot of a realm of sort of dangerous ideas. But one of the most important ones was the Islamic fascists, their relationship with the Third Reich, um, their relationship later with various interests in this inter, the, these great international groups of agreement. League of Nations, not dissimilar. Not a dissimilar project. Um, this is why the, the left, the left loves such collectivist ideas, mainly because um, nationalism is real culture, but it's not po it's it's not it's not like exciting. There's nothing to be indoctrinated into. There is basically this this idea that became popular through movies of a person who is in in um, indoctrinated into the secret mysteries such as Luke and the Jedi. Um, such a, There's so many of these movies. I, I'm like, I actually, I, it's, you almost have to, was it uh, The Last Navigator? Um, the Never Ending Story? Um, <laughs> Wizard of Oz? That there is a parallel world. There is a much more real world. And the old people d don't understand it. The traditionalists... All these these fogies, they don't get it. With going to work and like working and being like normal in your mind and controlling your emotions, like because I mean, just think about it. The most pathetic version of this that you see overwhelmingly has taken control of, especially um, uh, Weibo culture anime fan culture. If I'm an anime boy. When I shout louder, I get more anime secret power. Unleash my secret power! You know, and I used to have to joke, there was a guy I knew who, I mean, it was so obvious. He, this was where his head was at. It was so obvious, and so many of the animes he liked were these super lame anime that all had to do with unlock my secret power, you know. I was just a boy in a Japanese town. I was so bored until I unlocked my secret powers. Um, which, of course, the, the whole issue of this, as many of you have noted, is that there's no heroic arc to that. You, you were always destined to become something. What are you going to become? At least with, like, Full Metal Alchemist, it gets this idea of he unlocked the secret powers and it, it destroyed his life. And this is actually a much, much healthier view of the kind of world we were presented with with World War II. A much, much, m much smarter, much smarter. Full Metal Alchemist has Full Metal Alchemist and Pumpkin Scissors. Both of those anime tell Tell, they're, they're trying to tell a story that isn't exactly fictional. <laughs> um, so, something I just had to think about was this, the way that this, the, this journey went. Finding John Loftus in America's Nazi Secret. From there, it became, what was it, The Next 100 Years by uh, George Friedman of Stratfor. Stratfor was hacked by Anonymous... Um, a lot of people found out about Stratfor. George Friedman has, has loved, some time ago left Stratfor. Um, and now he is actually a major proponent of true nationalism. One of his things is you can't have a United Nations if you don't have 
actual nations. And because he's Hungarian, he actually gets like, no, there is a people and they are, they are Hungarians. They are different than the people around them. And, and that, and he actually had, he actually now takes students on. He takes on groups of, of leftist students, just, just smashing them. Um, he actually presents this whole thing of, you all do understand that none of you would even be alive without war. None of you would have lived because there wouldn't have been medicine. There would have not even been the hospitals. The, the, the amount, it, it, he's like, it's, it's unfortunate, but it is so. Humans fight. And when humans fight, it is one of those things that drives humans to a level of creativity that is miraculous as much as it is frightening. I had to start accepting things about humanity. Uh, Stefan Molyneux made me un accept a lot of things about myself and the way that I was raised. And my, the kind of man my father really had to have been, the kind of woman my mother must have been, because if I look at what she did, if I look at what he did, it doesn't matter what they said they were about. It's what they did. So, um, beyond that, became then looking up John Loftus's interviews on the Leon Charney show. That was on YouTube, finding out about this long history of people gaming the Jews. People gaming the Jews once they have enough money. This then lined up with stuff that Stefan Molyneux had said about central planners. That central planners pop up when there's money. In poor countries, central planning doesn't matter that much. But when you can make, say as Lao Tzu said, the large country wants the small country. The small country wants the, the comfort and protection of something larger than itself. Um, you know, it's just the nature of it. It's the nature of things. It's not, neither good or bad. It's just the nature of things. Um, so e the EU is the neo-Nazi empire. It is using the Muslims to literally, as, as basically a terrorist force, to terrorize everybody into abeyance. The Germans are doing this on purpose. The Belgians as well. They, their governments, their high muckety mucks are doing this. All elites in every college, anyone who, who says something wonderful about Islam, you all, you all are terrible people. Islam is one of the best things that's ever happened to Europe. You all need to understand that. You need to understand this is a villain. This person is a villain. They know exactly what's going on. They know that Islam is, is this intolerant, horrible, backward way of thinking um, that, that is genocidal in its most essential tenets and doctrines. Um, and that it, it, it says to others who don't agree with it, um, it, Jews and Christians who say, wait, no, you're getting, you're getting our stories incorrect with Hindus as well. You're getting our stories incorrect because it steals. It steals from everybody. There was no such thing as Islamic culture. It just stole Syrian culture. It's literally just, a, it's, it's nothing more than thievery and enslavement and like the height of misogyny. It's the height. It's a science of bigotry. It's, it's amazing when, when you really look into Islam from a critical, when people criticize. And this is what they do when they get power. And you just find out, like, wow, they just, it's an unstoppable flow of rape. Every, that's, like, their biggest thing. That's, like, the thing in Islam is to rape. That, uh, like, the more and more I look into this, the more I keep finding raping and raping and raping. Um, that this seems to be, once they take over a region, or they menace a region, they're allowed to menace a region, they, they rape. This is why, a big part of why they're in France is because the French, at the highest levels of, of France, these are people who love the idea of central planning, of, of controlling people. Of, these are, remember, France was on the, the international. It was on the international committee. It was a part of communism. 
it, it was an unofficial member of, of the, the Worldwide Council of Communist Countries and stuff. You know, it, it had a seat it represented there. Iran as well. All of these are just central planning. Authoritarian central planners. It, it doesn't matter if they... Hitler promised welfare. Hitler promised welfare, and, and, and it happened. Arnold Schwarzenegger is a result of Hitler's German Mother's Program. People just don't understand, and it's because they want so desperately to believe the Ford Foundation, Rockefeller, Carnegie Mellon, that what these people are doing is they're giving to good causes because, you know, they're industrialists and they want to finally do right and blah, blah. No. No. They're just like how they built all the schools to teach the teachers at every university. Just how they constructed the organizations that have made all school curriculums since the 20s. And, and now, all the education is basically programming by major industrialists. It's just experimentation on children's minds by industrialists. Note that most teachers are people who agree with ideas like the UN, ideas like the EU. Oh, we all just need to get together and repair the world because the world's so broken. It's not that the world is the way it is. It's not that actually, in fact... Things are better than they've ever been. Are you not watching me on a black mirror that you could fit in your pocket? You know, the, 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 yeah. So, that, that an ethnic minority can advocate for, can, can advocate for the, uh, the, voluntary withdrawal of nations from the World Council of Nations and that people like me, my advocacy as an individual has actually affected votes. I got four votes for Donald Trump. I got four. So I just want to make sure people understand that this has been a journey. You all have been on it with me. And I've learned a lot. And th th there's something I'm going to be reading. There's one of you who you are, you're Yugoslavian. You're, you're a Serbian or, or a true Macedonian or something. And just want to tell you, it's coming. It's coming. I'm going to be doing a reading over the next couple days. And because it's time now that, that Catholics need to understand what the Vatican did. This, there's, there, do, do not ever... This is, this, is, this is my point at this point. If you are Catholic, you need to, every time, every chance you get, you need to be as cool to an individual who is orthodox as possible. The reason why is because when it comes down to it, you have no idea what those people have been put through by the Vatican. It's not you. It wasn't your parish. It wasn't your priest. So you need to snap out of being stupid. Oh, for, oh, but the, the Orthodox, they've separated their blah, 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 stupid shit in my head. Yeah, you need to, uh, when you hear, what, what, like, why is there a Peronist fascist on the, seat of, on, on the seat of Peter? Why the fuck is he sitting there? This guy kisses Muslims' feet. You're going to find out why he kisses Muslims' feet, because the Vatican's been kissing Muslim ass since the Renaissance. They've been doing everything they can to turn the Turks against the Slavs. They, they've been paying off the Islamic world off and on for centuries so that they could attack the Orthodox. Rather than make peace with, with those, no. And, and this it gets even worse once you start adding science and tanks and trench warfare, it gets even worse. So I'm having no problem seeing the Catholic Church coming to the point it is. And now I want to just make sure to, to just really add it in there. I was there when the man wrote the article, Something's Wrong with the Books in the San Jose Parish. You now all call it a whole bunch of people got paid because of the Catholic molestation. If it wasn't for the guy who I listened to all through high school, 
The Lion of the Left, they called him. Ardent Catholic. Ardent. Even did a show on Sunday about religion. Taught theology at one of the most prestigious high schools in the area, at multiple prestigious high schools in the area. Totally believed. Totally believed in, in the Yugoslavian War. Bought it hook, line, and sinker that the Orthodox were, were killing and raping and pillaging. He was denounced in front of his family in his church during Mass from the pulpit by the priest for exposing molestation for years. People called in and cursed him for exposing what was going on. So I just want to put that out there. I've, se I've seen when the Catholics could save their own sons, they won't do it. Now, will they save their own church? Will they, will they save Christendom? They might. You might, but you're going to have to get over yourselves because there's no group of people who are more sort of stuck up than Catholics. Stuck the fuck up. Never, I mean, just wow. Awkward and stuck up. The, the only people who defy this are typically uh, the, the women who have started to like get kind of woke about shit. And um, now some of you young, younger reactionaries... Um, the ones who are, who are cool with the Orthodox and do think that, you know, that the people who are kind of on some set of anc set of that Cantonist, whatever, um, who, those kind of people, um, you know, the, but the, the reactionaries are a little, are a little bit better on this, but, um, it, it's, uh, em and really everybody needs to get this. No, British Catholics directly involved with British fascism, directly, directly involved with it, directly involved also with trying to make sure that Churchill couldn't fight Hitler, directly. So people need to get this, that, that there's, the larger the empire, the less you should trust it. That's why China is asshole. That's, you do not trust empires. This is why America can't become an empire, because we become entangled in things that we can never, the blood we can never wash off our hands. We are tied to the Salafists now. We are tied to the Wahhabists. The blood is on our hands. People who uh, are on the left, they think, oh, I never, no, I'm totally not like that. That's not me. That's not my team. That's like the capitalists. No, you're all, you're, you're dumb dumb dumbos. You don't know shit. You won't listen to the right wing. You, you just, you think you're, you, you're, you're stuck up. Nothing, no group. There's, there's the Catholics and then you go up, a, you, you look upward and there's all the fucking leftist uh, liberals, especially when they're young, beautiful, and they, and they still have disposable income. Then these fuckers, oh, you can't tell them. You can't tell them. They woke. They woke. They they listen to bad music, esteem shitty entertainment. They they don't they don't know about that shit. They don't know things. They just think and feel things. Okay, so I just wanted to tell just just bring up like where where th this journey and that it took six five to six years now. It's twenty twenty. This all started around twenty twelve and twenty thirteen for me. I've been reading hundreds and hundreds of pages just every every month just so I could get the, so I could get an understanding of this. But I'm going to uh, read to a lot of uh, read to the channel what I found about Yugoslavia, about Albania because this is just heartbreaking. I mean this is hard. This is not this is, there's this part of this isn't fun anymore, but it, it also it is. He reveals. He is the God of revelation. He is the God who reveals. It is, it is man who is meant not to see certain things until we can understand it. 
So, just also to uh, put it out there, celebrate Black History Month by reading good, a good black author, Thomas Sowell. If for, for anybody, if highly recommend Vision of the Anointed. You will, all, you will never lose to a liberal ever again. Ever. You will never lose an argument again to a liberal if you, if you understand what's in this book. Maps it all out for you. All the tricks they use, all the bullshit. You hear people say it. You hear, you'll, you'll always hear uh, Vincent James use the terminology that, that Thomas Sowell makes sure to use. There's a bunch of them, too. There's a bunch of, I think, uh, I noticed Sargon of Akkad is real good at picking out these various uh, fallacies and such. So, yeah, just, uh, just some thoughts. I want to thank you all for, for watching me. You know, I do this because I just want to do it. That, that I, I, because it's a moral duty. It's a moral duty to, to, it would be wrong for me to let so many people I live around, so many people just never know the truth. To, to, to know that I could have used some of this information, I could have made money. If I had really, if I had really put my mind to it, I probably could have made money. But, um, uh, it's not what it's about. It's better better to be the song your enemies sing 